Running versus sprinting. Let's talk about a little bit of difference here. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, miscellaneous odds and ends. And I'm inviting you to join me as I prepare to go off grid in Texas and start my homestead. It is a beautiful day in Omaha, Nebraska. It was 38 degrees this morning. As you can see, I've got one of my flannel shirts on because it is up to 48 degrees. I'm gonna have to cross the street here and go back the other way because there's some kind of work being done on that hill. I normally go up fast. So I'm gonna take a slightly steeper hill and go up that way. It's steeper, but it's shorter. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. You might be wondering what in the heck you're watching. Well, what you're watching is you're watching me walk. I know that doesn't seem really exciting, but when you consider that two and a half years ago, I could barely stand for a couple minutes without severe pain, and now I'm out here walking every day, these videos make a lot more sense. I'd kind of forgotten it was a holiday. There's a lot of people out on the street today. But now I'm gonna pick up the pace and go up this hill. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. It means a lot to me that you spend just a few moments of your day with me. I would like to ask y'all to help me out just a little bit. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi, Bob. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All these things are absolutely free and help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. Yeah, this hill is quite a bit steeper. I don't know if you can see behind me or not. But if you go back and watch some of my earlier walking videos, it took me several tries to get up this hill without stopping halfway up to take rest. And now I'm walking at a much quicker pace. But I've had a couple of people concerned about me running that last little bit up that big hill. Okay. Now we're up at the stop sign and we'll just keep going this way for a little bit. Now, if you watch Professor K and many others Running and sprinting are not the same thing. Running normally re refers to people that are out there jogging or even faster, but they do three, four, five miles a day. And that, I don't believe, is healthy. But what I'm basing my sprints on is Dr. Sean O'Mara. And while it's not medical proof, because there's no such thing, he backs up what he says with MRIs of visceral fat and can show the reduction in visceral fat on people that have taken up his sprinting protocol. So I just wanted to cover that real quick. And another thing that I want to talk about today, I got two more subjects. 
but it's not going to be a long walk today because I have a lot of other stuff to get done. But I saw a, a video that Bella Steak and Butter Gal put out. It was just a short. And I believe it was Dr. Baker was showing her short while he was eating a steak. Because I'm sure he sees the same thing. My little channel. I see the same thing all the time. You guys don't see it because I have a very strong word filter. But most days I'll go into my comments and in the held for review section, which is where my word filter dumps them, because I have to approve them before they actually get seen publicly. Almost every day, I have someone coming into my comments saying, well, I don't care how it's worked for you. You're gonna drop dead of a heart attack. You're gonna have a stroke. You're giving people bad advice. You're a dangerous person. You're a danger to the world because you're passing off misinformation. And I invite all those people to give me some good, solid scientific proof and I'll shut up. It's not out there. There is no scientific proof. They think there is but they don't understand science. So I'm gonna keep putting this message out as often as I can in hopes that if I can save just one person from going through the life of misery that I've gone through as a believer in our so-called healthcare system, then all of these videos have been worth it. If you don't believe in me, don't watch. But don't come on to my channel and try to leave comments about how my advice is killing people. I have always said that I'm not offering medical advice, that I'm not a doctor. I'm just sharing with you what has worked for me. And if you've watched more than 10 seconds of one of my videos, it becomes quite obvious that what I'm doing is working for me. I know I had said, we're switching gears here now. I know I had said I wasn't gonna be able to check out my internet connection till I got down to my property. But I found some other maps. Apparently I was looking at the wrong map and apparently cell phone coverage is not the same as coverage for their home internet. Talking about that other company that I was gonna look at. So, I'm mostly happy to report that I have ordered myself a Starlink. It's a pretty cool unit that I bought. I actually got myself a Starlink Mini. When it gets here, I'll be doing a full review of it to show you how it works. I am gonna to have to cut a couple of things out because the roaming package is $160 a month, which is what I'm gonna need for it to be able to use it here and down in the desert 
and anywhere else I'm at. But it's a pretty good looking little system. Like I said, I'll show that to you when I get out there. When it gets here. It's supposed to be a couple of weeks yet. So I can't leave for Texas until my Starlink shows up. When you actually see the review of my new Starlink, you'll know it's getting very close to time to go. But it was a, a $600 for the hardware, $599 plus tax. And I get 30 days for free. But then it'll be $160 a month to have internet. But like I said, I'll fill you in on more of those details when the review, when it actually gets here and I can show it to you and show you how it works. It should be really easy to set up. And the reason I went with the more expensive Starlink Mini, because they have their regular unit, the Generation 3, was, I want to say it was like 350 bucks. So this one was quite a bit more expensive. But for my application, the thing I was looking at is I did review as I looked at review videos online for both systems the big difference is while the speeds are faster on the regular Starlink Gen 3 it also uses more than three times the power and oh, there's a car coming so I got to run on across the street here so I don't get hit but the Starlink Mini, using that much less power, means a lot to somebody that has limited power resources. So, again, I'll cover all that stuff in my review video when it comes in. For now, I just want to say, you know, keep the comments coming. If you're one of these naysayers, Feel free to leave your comments. They probably won't make it through my word filter, but you're welcome to try. And remember that there is a difference between running and sprinting. Most people, when they talk about running and it being bad for you, are talking about people who run distances, two, three, four, five miles a day. That's a completely different thing from the burst and repeat exercise of a sprint. That exercise is very similar to other things that I do, like push-ups to failure, sit-stands to failure, all that stuff. It's still just another burst and repeat exercise. Oh, look at that, a little squirrely coming over to see I wonder if I can... There he is. He was right there by my steps watching me talk to you guys. A lot of squirrels out. It's getting to be about that time. We're actually under a freeze warning for tomorrow night. It's supposed to get down to about 30 degrees. Tuesday night to Wednesday morning. That'll be interesting. That'll be fun. But then it's supposed to warm back up again. So... I don't think I'm in any danger of getting snowed on while I wait for the Starlink to get here. And I'm still hopeful that as I look up and see many dead branches in my trees, I'm hopeful that the tree service will get here and take these two big trees out before I leave for the year. Hopefully some of what I said today made sense. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.